the Sydney to Melbourne rail line. How's this for an amazing free campsite? There'll be more about this in the next video, but in this video coming up now, there's three free campsites for you to have a look at. This is the Bethungra, I hope I pronounced that right, dam, uh, near Juni. It was originally constructed in 1895, completed in 1897, to provide water for the township of Juni, because the southern rail line uh, ran through the area and had a depot at Juni, and they needed water. So that's the line from Sydney to Melbourne. But unfortunately, in the first decade after this dam was built, there was no rain and so it wasn't very successful in providing water for the town. So now apparently Juni receives its water from the Murrumbidgee River and it's pumped into the town. But this dam remains, is a great source for all the wildlife and for camping. Beautiful spot, very quiet, and it's free. Lovely countryside here, lots of rolling hills. This is at the end of the dam wall. You can see the old pump machinery along there. Apparently you can fish in here. But swimming is not advised. Certainly uh, kayaking and boating uh, pastimes that people do here in the summer months. I know blackberry is an environmental weed these days, but I always hope when we find blackberry bushes there might be some fruit on them. But not at this time of year. So at Bathungra Dam, there are some facilities here, a large covered barbecue area with seating. There are three composting toilets that are not too bad. And there's some more covered seating areas around the dam. And we're just down there. Sometimes it's just worth waking up for the sunrise. Beautiful, glorious day and no wind. It's been so windy lately. This is the little town of Coolamon in New South Wales. It's just north of Wagga and it's on the Canola Way. wheat grown around here as well. Lovely wide streets, love these country towns. This is Lake Wyangan campsite near Griffith, another free off-grid site.
this is an example of the death ridge wheel that's used throughout Australia and in many countries to measure the flow of water delivered to farms for irrigated agriculture. The town of Griffith receives its water from the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Area. You can see the canals around the farms in the town. The Murrumbidgee Irrigation Area covers 660,000 hectares. So we'll find this very, very hard to believe, but we were camped 100 kilometres away from that fire that you can see, and we could smell it for the last 36 hours. There's just nowhere for it to go. It just permeates the whole atmosphere. I don't know what they're burning. So that's what they were burning. All that wool or uh, cotton. Oh, old cotton. So. This is our pork and veggie surprise. We have to use up our vegetables before we cross into South Australia. So yesterday we made this with some pork belly that was a bit tough, so, but it's nice and tender in this. A bit of brown rice and some salt reduced chicken stock and some herbs. And what we'll does it taste like, dear? Pumpkin and carrot as well. Pumpkin and carrot, yeah, vegetables. Pepper. What's it taste like? It tastes like food. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good or not? Very good. Good. Well, you'd say that. You made it. <laughs> so, we are at Bottle Bend near Mildura on the Murray River. And we were here on the 18th of May last year. Uh, and last it's year... It's a bit hard to see now. But this was the water level, which would have to be 10 metres above the current river water level, at least. Yeah, last year there were, it was after the floods and you could clearly see the water level on the trees. Can't see it as much now. This is a great um, overnight, oh well, 24 hour campsite. They've um, leveled off a lot of the areas and it goes right along there. No facilities here, but it's quiet. It's only two k's off the highway and it's just a beautiful spot on the river. So people ask us, don't you get sick of traveling? Don't you miss home? And then you have pictures like this, beautiful red river gum tree hanging over the water. It's true, yes, yeah, sometimes you do get sick of traveling and sometimes you do wish you were home, but there are fleeting moments when we have these sort of things all throughout the whole of Australia. It's just so peaceful. And it is true that we live on the water at home. Not quite. Not quite, but pretty close. And it is true that um, we live in a quiet community, but it's nice to be able to, well, look at that over there, the pelican, just uh, paddling by, and especially at sunrise and sunset. It's, uh, it's worth like a million dollars. And we are truly blessed to be able to do it such freedom and uh, enjoyment around this country. Truly blessed. <laughs>